Select the true statement about cleistogamy. What is cleistogamy? Cleistogamy is a condition in which flowers they never open and they never expose their sex organs. So this cleistogamy ensures seed formation. Yes, because in this case pollination occurs inside the flower only because there is flower they never open. It promotes xenogamy. Xenogamy is cross pollination. No, they promote autogamy only. Produces genetic variations or not at all? It an adaptation to ensure cross pollination? No, it's self pollination. So the correct option for the given question is option number one. Let's move to the next question. Question number hundred and twenty-two. Eyes and potato tubers are roots, nodes, buds, or internodes. Eyes and potato tubers they are buds called the axillary buds. So the correct option for the given question is option number. Three. That's why when you cut a potato tuber and if you have buds on it, put this tuber in the soil. It will again form the plant because buds are essential for the vegetative propagation. Let's move to the next question. Question number hundred and twenty-three. Adventitious buds at the margins of leaves help in vegetative propagation of. In this particular question, you have to tell that which plant is vegetatively propagated by the leaves. It is bryophyllum. So, what about the ananas, grasses, and pineapple? Grasses reproduce vegetatively with the help of runners. Ananas with the help of bulbils, and pineapple with the help of sucker, and bryophyllum with the help of leaf. So, the correct option for the given question is option number two. Let's see this. Next question, question number one hundred and twenty-four. Select the correct statement for icornia. Icornia is water hyacinth. It grows in stagnant water, and here it is written as running water. So this option is ruled out. It is pollinated by wind. No, it is pollinated by insect. It shows entomophily. It propagates vegetatively by offset. Yes, it is correct. It supplies O2 to the water. And promotes growth of fishes. No, it leads to the death of fishes because it propagates so rapidly that it does not let any oxygen to take by the fishes. So it leads to the death of fishes. So the correct option for the given question is option number three. Let's move to the next question. Question number one hundred and twenty-five. Which of the following is not possible in sexual reproduction? You must have studied about it that a single parent can contribute in sexual reproduction, as in many organisms or in many plants, that one plant shows autogamy. So one only single plant is involved in sexual reproduction. So this is not correct. Syngamy is also possible in sexual reproduction. Meiosis is also possible in sexual reproduction. Offsprings identical to the parents. It only happens in the asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction produces offsprings which are identical to the parents, and not the sexual reproduction. As sexual reproduction brings variations in the offsprings, so the correct option for the given question is option number two. Let's move to the next question. 